go, y'all. You know, like I said earlier, for those who didn't know, Pete Goodlife went live on Twitter earlier this morning and um, announced that the MPC 2.0 software that's been highly anticipated is available for download for MPC Live and MPC Touch users. MPC Live is on the street in some places. Um, some people are buying them in California and different places. I presumed that uh, those of us that pre-ordered would have got them first, but that may not be exactly what's happening. But anyway, if you got a touch uh, already, and that 2.0 software you had been promised and was waiting for, it's now here for you to download if you log into your kypro.com account. You can download that. It's hitting some people later than others, so if it's not there, if I were you, I'd just keep refreshing your browser until it shows up. Um, but I have it uh, running on the MPC Touch here, and um, I got it on a laptop and part in the mess, y'all. I kind of just threw together a makeshift studio. I also downloaded it to connect to my REN downstairs. Uh, hopefully, it will sync up properly, but right now, I got it on the Touch as it uh, was designed for, and um, audio tracks was the biggest addition for most people that most people wanted so that they don't have to flip back and forth between other DAWs like Pro Tools, Delay, Vocals. So um, I got it running. I got a couple of audio tracks on here that I just did, and um, bear with me as I'm still learning this thing, but I did want to show this and point it out. For anybody who wants to get busy immediately and put some audio tracks down on their beats. Um, right here, one thing I like is that you can arm a track. Um, I'm in the window where, the sequence window, where you can mute tracks, you can solo tracks, skip to the next track, change the timing and all those things. And you can pan and set volume and velocity and transpose on your, your tracks and even change the length. So um, within this software, you do not have to have each track running at the sequence length. Each track can have its own length, or you can set them all to the same sequence length. And I think that's really good. Um, now, one thing that I like is that the audio tracks are stacked right up on your MIDI track, so it makes things pretty simple to um, go back and forth between muting and soloing tracks. So I'm pretty sure most of you would appreciate that, the simplicity of that. Another thing I want to point out is how easy it is to make audio tracks. Now, within the software, this is, I mean, this looks like uh, completely different than 1.9.6 and previous uh, MPC softwares. Um, things that were on the left are now on the right and vice versa. Um, the transport buttons and you know, of course, the whole top taskbar looks completely different. The file browser is over here. So it'll take some, some adjustment. Uh, it's going to be a learning curve. So that's why I'm doing this video, because I know a lot of you wanted to get to those audio tracks. So I wanted to show you what I did. Um, I'm not much of a manual reader unless I, I have to. So I like to dive in. So I did that. What I did was here you got MIDI. And under MIDI, you're going to have all of these options. Um, you got your your drum programs, your plugins, your um, your uh, key group programs. You got clip programs. You can do clip launching and all that cool stuff for the EDM guys and whoever else likes that stuff. Uh, it's probably good for for rap and trap and all that stuff too. Uh, you got MIDI and then you got CV. So you have all of these options for MIDI functionality and programming beats and things like that. But then if you go back down to the bottom and you hit this audio right there, boom, hit audio. I hope y'all can see all this because uh, I got the phone turned around the opposite way. I don't know what I was thinking, but you hit audio on your touch screen and that'll bring up audio tracks. And as you can see, I got track two, then I got track one. So I have two audio tracks. You on the track, and then you input your audio. You got your meters right here. I'll pick up my little microphone over here so you can see them jump. One, two, one, two. So you can see the meter jumping also on the screen. In the software, the same thing is happening. One, two, one, two. And I'm not getting a lot of volume because there's no, um, this is not an XLR mic that needs phantom and there is no phantom on this, uh, of course, on the uh, MPC Touch. There's no phantom power, but 
I noticed within the software, once you put your audio in, it's pretty clean once you amp it back up. And of course, you got your audio track level here and all of those options are going to be in your software as well. You can simply go to edit audio and I've this was really skinny when I put it in and now it's fat because I amplified it with the gain. So you got a lot of different options that you can use in here to change your sound and to edit your audio. I'm not going to get into all that. I just wanted to show you how to load up an audio track. Once again, I'll go over that. You, of course, open up your software, turn on your MPC Touch. Um, you go to MIDI if you want to start making your beats first. I got four tracks of beats. Then you click audio on your track. Plug your microphone or whatever you're going to plug into the back and record the audio. And once you get it in, of course, you can edit the audio. So it's that simple. Let me know in the comments if I need to go a little more in depth with that. Um, I don't mind doing that for anybody who needs it. But uh, I got my first little beat going in here. I just threw something together for y'all with a couple audio tracks. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.